Hello friends, welcome to C3 Kids Online Preschool Edition. I'm Melissa and I'm the preschool director here at Community Christian Church in White Marsh, Maryland, where we're all about helping people find their way back to God. I am so glad you are watching online today. If you haven't attended in person, we'd love to meet you. You are invited to attend CCC and experience C3 Kids Preschool with all of our preschool friends. Head to the website communitycc.net where you can find all the details and you can even pre-register for your visit. Well, it's time to get started. I hope you're ready to have some fun. Today, we're going to sing to God, learn a memory verse, and hear a totally true Bible story. Here comes the countdown. Let's do this. that today is going to be a super amazing day because we have 
Giant blocks. These blocks are super big. I think we can build a super tall tower all the way up to the sky. Do you think we can reach the moon? Raise your hands way up high. Maybe we can make our tower reach all the way up to the stars. Twinkle your fingers like stars. Wow, this is a super tall tower. I think we can make it tall enough to reach the sun. We should stack even more. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Building a tall tower, are you? I am, Ollie. I want to make this tower reach the moon and the stars, even the sun. The moon and stars are beautiful. It's true. And I know who made them all. Who? Who? Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Come on, come on. Here we go. Ooh, que bueno! That's good! <laughs> Hola, friends! I'm Luis the Handyman. My flashlight stopped working, so I had to stack two new batteries inside. Now it's working just fine, which is awesome because we have a big, bright light in our story today. But first, we need to build our story. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great! Hammers up, little builders! Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Our true story from the Bible is about when God made everything. That's right. God made the whole world and everything in it. First, on day one, God made light and the dark. And then on day two, God made the sky above the water. But do you think God was done yet? <laughs> no way. God wanted to make so much more. So, on day three, God made dry ground and called it land. Then God put all the water together and called it seas. Hmm. God looked at what he made and saw that it was good. Can you say, it's good? It's good! Que bueno! <laughs> there was so much land but there wasn't anything growing on it yet. So God told the land to start growing things. Trees started to grow right up out of the ground. Vines and bushes and flowers and plants of all kinds sprouted up everywhere. God even made fruits and vegetables for us to eat. Oh, look at that yummy fruit in the tree. Shout it out if you know what it is. <laughs> That's right, it's a banana. Mm. Oh, and look over there. Do you see those leafy green tops? I think there's an orange vegetable under there. Hmm. Do you know what it is? You got it, a yummy carrot. <laughs> God made so many different plants for us to eat and enjoy. God looked around on all those wonderful plants and saw that it was good. Can you say, it's good? It's good! Que bueno! Now, we've talked about what God made on days one, two, and three. What number comes after three? That's right, four! On day four, God said, let there be Lights in the sky. There we go. Now God made one big light for the daytime. Hmm. Do you know what light God made for the daytime? 
If you do, shout it out. <laughs> the sun. Can you make a big sun like this with your arms? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Great job. You can put your arms back down now. After God put the sun in the sky, God made some special lights for the nighttime. Shout it out if you know what lights God made for the night. Hmm? Yes, God made the moon and stars for the nighttime. Let's make some twinkly stars with our hands. Huh? Can you wiggle your fingers with me? Oh, very nice, great job. Now God looked at the sun and moon and stars and saw that it was good. Can you say, it's good with me? It's good. <laughs> now let's remember what we learned. On day one, God made light and dark. And then on day two, God made the amazing sky above the water. Then on day three, God made the land, plants, and sea. Then on day four, God made the sun, moon, and stars. God is so creative and powerful. God made everything. <laughs> oh, hey there, Raleigh. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. That's the truth, friends. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. God made the land, plants, and sea, and the sun, moon, and stars. God made everything for me and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow. First God made the land, plants, and sea. Then God made the sun, the moon, and the stars. God made everything. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I don't think our tower can reach the moon, but I think we could definitely go higher. I'll see you next time. God saw everything he had made, and it was very good. Genesis 1.31 God saw everything he had made, and it was very good. Genesis 